Okay, uh, welcome back to my uh, tutorial. Right now, I'm going to show you how to create the surface texture. Okay, according to the ISO 1302 2020, uh, there is a requirement which is uh, we can differentiate uh, the surface texture which is this one is a specific surface texture and the such area and this one as well uh, but in the in order to indicate the requirement that uh, deviate from the general surface texture we have to put like some type, some kind of the uh, symbol here so this one is uh, indicate that the general surface Roughness is 22.5, and then there's a brush tenses here, which is indicated as a special uh, indication inside our part. Okay, how we do it in Fusion because Fusion won't let me uh, select uh, if there is no reference in order to create these surface symbols, they won't allow me to do it. Okay, but uh, in the walk around, as we can see here in the fusion, there is a walk around to do this. Uh, what I did here, I put the surface texture here and then also the brush tenses and as well as the ballooning here. So this ballooning would be the balloon for the indication of the item number of this part. Okay, and it's referred to this uh, general assembly. Uh, as well, okay. Okay, let's let's uh, put the base view. Okay, so I put the my base view here uh, at the probably top view here. Okay, I put it here and then using the shorten option here. And right now I'm using two po uh, larger scale here. Okay, and then I will use the visible edge only and I don't want to put that red there so I just hit OK and then inside here if if I just want to show my part my just one part so I can turn off all the other unnecessary part here uh, let me select which one it is okay so this one and then is this a back cover? Yeah, I think it's a front cover. Okay, so I just unselect all the part which is I don't want it to show in this particular view. Okay, okay, so that's it. This is my view, and then usually. If we have a uh, such of this view, uh, I will put the section view first here. Okay, so this particular section view, I will select the uh, from here to here. Okay, I will go down here and then refer to this point, center point here. Okay, in order to make sure that my uh, cutting line is at the center line okay and then I will put it here and I will I want to show this holy over here so I just put it over here I guess okay then I hit OK okay and then I will put it my view over here okay and I just want to slice it so i don't oh, i think yeah i think it's full view is okay okay full view okay right there and then i just hit okay traded it's uh, because there's no thread over there okay like this and then uh i will put uh, my center mark here this one and this one and then the reference would be this one okay i will put the center mark over there Okay, like so and then I can extend my center mark here 
and also my center mark will from here and here with the reference here but I don't want to put the full PCD in this particular position so I just hit OK I do one more time here here and that this one is the reference and I want to put the full PCD here or do I want to put the center mark? I don't think so. Okay, reference will be here. Then just hit OK. Okay. Okay, so oh I think I know the problem. Here and here. Okay, yeah, okay, like that. Okay, now I can uh, readjust this one to put it slightly out of the. Now let me undo this. Okay, adjust this position in order to put it slightly uh, over the part. Okay, and then I added the center line. Here, okay, and here, okay, and then I will create a more extent of the center line. Okay, and then in order to do this kind of the symbol, so first I want to create a sketch. Okay, so there, I put a sketch. For example, I want to make it a circle. Okay, with the five millimeter of uh, radius okay and then I will put my text over here okay which is five probably and the tag height will be the five millimeter height I just click OK and then we just reorient the position and then uh, let me put a line over here. Okay, so you need to put a very thin and slightly, yeah, just above here, probably I think over here. Okay, just a little bit of line. Okay, there, and also I will make it probably around here. Okay, right click and OK. And then I will put the for the potencies here and then I think it's around here. So we can edit it later on, no problem. And then after that I just click finish here. Okay, so just you can see there's a little line over here. And when you click this uh surface text things surface texture then you can reference with this own line over here okay okay probably this one is a uh, 3.2 for example okay so i need to put that uh, uh slightly at the right okay so i will need to open my sketch here and then i edit and then i can grab it and then Drag it a little bit more. Okay, and see what's okay. See how it's going. So this one would be no. Yeah. So if you see that this one is too close, so you just uh, right click here and then edit the sketch. And then you just use your cursor to move it a little bit. Okay, oh no. Uh, move it a little bit. This one as well. Move it a little bit. Okay, like so. And if you think this one is too long for this line, so you just click and drag it over there. Make it, oh sorry. Make it too short. Uh, 
this grid, this step to grid, you have to turn it off first. Okay, over there, yeah, this is enough. Small enough, okay. Okay, like so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. This one, you can copy and paste, and then you can reduce it again. So, for example, if I want to move it, yeah, slightly over there, and then the surface roughness will follow. And as well as I copy this sketch here, and then I paste it. Okay, paste it. So there is a new sketch. And then you can transform from here, for example, you put it over there. Okay, but uh, unfortunately, the surface texture is won't follow. You have to recreate it again here. Okay. Yeah, just fill the value. RA 1.5, for example. Okay, like so. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's the same as the ISO standard. ISO 1302. Okay, like this one. Yeah, probably there there's no uh uh horizontal line over there. You just need it. I don't want to put a horizontal line with it. Okay. Okay, that's it for these uh quick tips session. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.